Good morning, my Cancers. We are mixing it up today. Welcome to your reading. You know, I get, I just did your reading. I did like, I was seven minutes in and I just, I just wasn't feeling it. So look, we are mixing it up. We're doing our big girl shuffle. We are doing our big girl shuffle to see what's going on with the Cancers. Let's see what's going on with the Cancers. Actually, let's get it one more. Cancer's like, what is going on? I did not tune into this. It's Tuesday morning, Stacy. I got things to do. I am not here for a mess. Just want to, I really want to mix it up because you can shuffle and shuffle and shuffle and those same cards. I'm telling you, this is, this is, I like the idea of doing four readings in one day. Um, like the kings, the queens, and the knights. But the problem is the storylines all seem to run together. And as a reader, you want something different, right? You want to, and I feel like I was reading Libra's reading. So let's see if that changes things up. Because the cards kept coming out in the same spots. Okay, let's change it up. Let's change this up. Okay, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you are a Cancer, no Cancer, feel like being a Cancer. Well, I am glad you're here. I'm starting to feel like it's Groundhog Day. Okay, okay. What is going on? What is going on? One more. One more. Okay. What is this? Look at this. I love when you split the deck. We have the Page of Pentacles and the Star. That is a new big ass beginning. I like that. I like that. Ace of Wands just popped up. That's a lot of newness. That's what I want to see. I want to see some newness. These past storylines, trust me, it gets tiring for me too. Okay. What is the general energy for Cancer? What is the general energy? What is the general energy for Cancer? What is... I'm having a hard time holding on to these. Tell me the general energy for Cancer. What is it? Ooh, Two of Pentacles. I like the Two of Pentacles. Look at the balance. And I love the infinity symbol on this card above what is it the magician and the strength card have the sideways infinity i actually always i wear a gold sideways affinity around my neck i never take it off but um yeah look at that that's a lot of balance and that's a lot of growth and, and it's rising to new heights and maybe because you're reaching to new heights it brings even more balance because it's it feels like um, being in power being in your own power what's influencing this two of pentacles and that's capricorn energy by the way What's influencing it? The Page of Cups reversed. Well, it could be maybe you were in a situational. I, I wanted to say a situationship. I didn't want to say a relationship. But you know why? Because the page is new love, right? It's a new potential. But maybe it, it, it didn't. It just didn't get off the ground. And it, I don't think you're letting it keep you down. I mean, look, you're on top of the buildings. You're just like, okay that didn't work let's move on what is the reason for the reading what is the reason for the reading that just feels like disappointment but not like heart shattering kind of kind of thing what's the reason for the reading for cancer what is it what is the reason for the reading the nine of cups reverse this is this is no hope or lack of hope or disappointment um it's not i always because nine of cups i think traditionally is basically happily ever after kind of card and all your wishes come true when this is like and your wishes didn't come true with the page of cups it just feels like something you could have had a lot of hope for and you saw the potential it just didn't work out what is in the past and that's pisces by the way this always feels like a pisces card probably because of the fish i love that card what's in the past cancer what's in the past the Ten of Pentacles. I like that. That's making some good. That maybe this is what you saw it in because I do feel like disappointment. Maybe you wanted a relationship and get off the ground, and it just, you know, it, it, you saw this long term potential. You saw you, you and this person and four kids and generation after generation. Um, but yeah, we'll clarify. I don't want to confuse. When I start getting into the cards, and then when you clarify, it could be a completely different story. I gotta really stop doing that. What's what's on your mind, Cancer? What's on your mind? And that's a Virgo. Somebody in the comments last week said, can you, you know, say the signs more often? I do try, guys, but it takes me out of the a lot of times I it takes me out of my my zone. What's what's on your mind? 
the hermit another virgo card pulling yourself away the hermit is analyzation and a lot of times when we have to analyze where we've been we kind of do have to isolate and pull ourselves away it's a good isolation because it's healing and it's just seeing things from a new perspective and what you see what i like is this is two females on top of a building rising to new heights and i feel like if this was a relationship that you wanted to take off and it didn't it disappointed you no doubt you saw potential no doubt but you're not letting it get you down you're not th this isn't the end all be all you know there's something even better coming because she is even going into the future in this card what is the near future for cancer what is the near future here what is it what is the near future oh i love that the king of swords that's a lot of power a lot of clarity knowing your own power knowing that there's nothing that can stop you from having what you want but like she it she takes her little wand and plucks the stars out from the sky and wraps herself in it it's like she's enlightened now to our own power and in this deck i know i say this all the time but the emperors and the kings have female counterparts that's why i i love this deck so much it's called and i don't say it enough it is the tarot of the mystical moments I, you know that's the thing when you love a deck so much it's very hard to find another deck you could equal equally love it's just it's such a fabulous deck what is on your mind cancer what is on your mind what is on that mind of yours what is it the best card was in the last one too five of cups reverse this is it's it's i if this is a relationship and it feels like a relationship i'll be honest it's the attachment that can really get us and what we how we how we see something how it could work out and when we see something we want and someone we want we can just like see from now to 80 years and how everything's going to go and when that doesn't happen it becomes very very disappointing but this is feeling this is kind of well it's only in this card that's just funny because the five of cups reverse in a traditional deck i know it can mean regret and this could be a card of regret maybe it's regretting that it didn't work out the way you wanted it to work out um but this can also be letting it go you still care about it you still see the beauty in it you know they're not evil or anything and for whatever reason it just didn't work out and this is you seeing it and saying okay i have to let it go and that's what i'm kind of feeling with this you're all like on the verge of it because here you see that there's new things you can do it's there's new there's new people you can be with there's new jobs you can get what is the energy coming in to influence this what is the energy coming in to influence this for cancer justice libra i love that the justice card fairness and and look at these two women holding their swords up in their power that is that is pretty great aquarius and libra right there holding their swords up yeah there's there's nothing you i'm just stuttering all over the place there is nothing that can hold you back once you're into this power this was a temporary setback this was sadness yes there there was a lot of hope here of something to work out there was you probably cared i just i i want to like this could have been a relationship you were in but for some of you i feel like it didn't even get to that point what is in your emotions what is in your emotions what is in cancer's emotions lovers oh soulmate card that is so sweet that's gemini energy we will clarify that was a curveball that was a curveball and maybe that's why the five of cups reversed because you still see a lot of you're you're still connected it's connection what is the outcome here what is the outcome what is the outcome for cancer what is the outcome the ten of cups pisces what is this cancer what is this wow 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 oh my gosh and you know when i was shuffling i had the page of cups at the bottom and it's funny here and what's going on underneath is the page of cups reversed wow okay let's clarify because i'm getting a couple different things 
But let's see what the cards, let's see what the cards have to say. Maybe, maybe it's not as bad as you think, you know? But this is when things aren't coming together. Okay, okay, okay. The, the reason why, and I know you guys didn't see the first video, there was a lot of stuck energy. There was the chariot reverse, there was the hangman. It was, it was stuck, and I feel like these almost go together. And I will say, if this is for Cancer, who is in a relationship, a new relationship, maybe you, f maybe you fear that they don't see the long game as much as you do. Maybe you fear it's moving too slowly. Maybe you fear that it's stuck when it's actually moving. Um, maybe, there could be all kinds of reasons why people, you know, don't just really jump into things. But let's see, what's this Page of Cups Reverse and the Two of Pentacles for Cancer? What is that? Page of Cups Reverse and the Two of Pentacles. What is that? Oh, here he is again, the Hangman. The Hangman Reverse. And he makes a number four. This is being enlightened. This is being enlightened to what wasn't working, what wasn't coming together. But what is it? Give me another card. This is such a mysterious read here. Give me another card. I think it was that big girl shuffle that did it. What is... What is it? Oops, 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 oops. Okay, hold on. What is this hangman reverse? That's being enlightened to what wasn't working and the eight of cups. And this, see, the, these two cards always remind me, even though it's the five of cups, it's still walking away from something beautiful. I always wonder if that was a mistake they did it that way. Um, but this is walking away from something you care about, being enlightened to it. Two of pentacles is just you moving on. But then we have the Ten of Cups. Is this somebody new? It feels like it could be. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't mean to confuse you guys. What's the Nine of Cups reversed? What's the Nine of Cups reversed? Holding up the reading. What is that? And the Two of Swords. Libra energy again. It's finding your, your inner peace. It's finding your balance after what didn't work out. You know, the Nine of Cups reversed hopes dashed, dreams lost, you know, it's just finding your inner peace and being okay with it. Give me another card on that. And the page of swords reverse, finding something out. It's kind of like bad. It's your bad news card. When, when you see something or you find something out and you went in like this hermit mode and you, what you've discovered wasn't really helpful. I'm almost getting a feeling, and maybe because there's like two groups of cancers out there. Maybe there's a group of a cancer that's in a relationship. They have a lot of hope. They're, you know, it's everything's going really great, but maybe, maybe it's not moving at the pace that you want it to move. And maybe you go online wondering, are they dealing with somebody else? And maybe you see something that doesn't necessarily prove that they are, but it just gives you this doubt, like this nine of cups reverse, this a bit of sadness, like, you know, are, are they going to disappoint me? And this is getting your mental balance back after, I feel like the Two of Swords is getting your balance back after what you see with that. Okay, let's keep going. This is this is confusing. This is a very confusing read. I'm not gonna lie to you. What's the Ten of Pentacles in the past? What's the Ten of Pentacles in the past? What is that? And the Three of Wands reversed. This could be no longer waiting because here he's waiting for his ships to come in. This is no longer waiting, which I actually like this in this card because I, I just always disagree that a want, a, a fire signs don't wait. They don't. They need to move. They need to explore. They need to create. They need to, they need to go. And this guy is waiting. He's a want and he's Aries energy. And you're going to tell me an Aries is just going to stand there waiting for a ship to come in? I don't think so. This is realizing I need to go find my own ship and get the hell out of here. With the in the Ten of Pentacles, and we probably create, you know, money, abundance, job. What is this Hermit on Cancer's mind? What is the Hermit on Cancer's mind? What is the Hermit on Cancer's mind? I think you had to go to this place of, you know, getting a fresh perspective, just like the Hangman Reverse, because it's a Sagittarius energy, the Temperance Reverse, lack of balance things not coming together. And because they're not coming together, it's just kind of stressed you out more. It's just something you you care a lot about. This is a relationship. Either it is a relationship that's already in effect or it's a relationship you're trying to get off the ground. 
And maybe because this person with the Page of Cups reverse could also mean they're not talking about their feelings. I should have said that too. They're not talking about their feelings. And if they would just talk about their feelings, it would bring everything into balance. But I feel like there's a lot of guesswork going on here. And you're wondering, with the hangman reverse, you, you go to this place like the hermit here and you're analyzing things and what you find doesn't bring you any more peace than you were in before. And you realize I might have to walk away from something I really care about. Eight of Cups. I care about it, but how long can I be waiting for someone? That's what, it, that's what this is kind of feeling like. Where was that? Oh, here. Okay. That's what it's kind of feeling like. What is this King of Swords in the near future? What's the King of Swords in the near future? What is the King of Swords in the near future? And the sun. Happiness. Okay, give me another card on that. Give me another card on that. Is that somebody else? Are you dealing with an Aquarius by chance or a Leo? What is this? What is this? And the Emperor Reverse. If this is a relationship, and let's just say they have, you were guessing how they feel. This is, this is just what I'm getting, guys, okay? Because I'm telling you, this is probably the most confusing read I've ever done. If you had to, if you spent a lot of time guessing how they how they feel because they're just not an emotional type of person i almost don't feel like this is you this king of swords i feel like this is who you're dealing with now i pulled the female maybe you're a female dealing with a female maybe you're a male watching this dealing with a female but either way i feel like this is somebody else this isn't you this isn't the cancer i'm reading for this is somebody taking control now as we know king of swords isn't an emotional person i shouldn't say it like that they everybody has emotions but some people aren't good at expressing them like the page of cups reverse some people like the king of cups who can write you poetry and they're deep in those emotions and you know it's just what they're comfortable with a king of swords isn't uncomfortable like that but they do still care very deeply they're still very loyal but they're just they they have a hard time expressing themselves and maybe this person finally speaks up and claims you the way you want them to claim you. Because in the past, we have the emperor reverse them not taking control of the situation. And it, it feels like, honestly, it feels like you are ready to walk away and throw it all in. And throw it all in because, you f because this person has such a hard time expressing their emotions for one reason or another that you just believe the worst. Like, it's, this isn't going to happen they they're probably you know deceiving me somehow what i need to go with and i need to figure out what to do you know i think it brought you a lot of balance and i'm not this is nobody's fault i just feel like you're dealing with somebody who has a very hard time expressing their emotions maybe they're very work related or work you know they're just focused on their work and with the ten of pentacles focused on their money what's this five of cups reverse how cancer sees themselves and you even though cancer this is funny I mean, it's funny and it's not funny. In the center of the reading is you're like, oh, I think I have to walk away from something I care about. How you see yourself is I can't walk away from it because I, I really care about it. You know, here she's walking away. Here you're standing there with the flowers because you instinctually know with Ace of Swords, you, you're really clear on this. This is probably... <sighs> Uh, I think you instinctually know that this person, you know, it's, I think in your mind, you know, that they're probably loyal. They're probably, there could be a, they're, they're just not in touch with their emotional side. They're really not. But they, but there's definitely something there for you. Because look at this. We have the Ten of Cups and the Lovers. Those are two soulmate cards on top of each other. The Justice card. Maybe if this is a relationship, you're waiting for them to actually step up and take this to the next level with the justice. That definitely could mean contracts and marriage, right? Um, but I just feel like you, being a Cancer, being the Queen of Cups, you are in touch with your emotions. You're dealing with somebody who is not. And you're trying to apply how you are to them. And I think that's, but in, in, in tech, intellectually, you know that not everybody is like other people, right? And you know, I think you know that they're honest and they're fair and they're probably not screwing around but it, when it goes as slow as it's going and they're not sharing that with you that's when you know your imagination can run out of control 
What is this Five of Cups reverse? How you see yourself? What is that? Five of Cups reverse. What is this Five of Cups reverse? The Ten of Pentacles reverse. Yeah. This in the past, this is a lot of hope, a lot of growth. This is the person. How you see yourself is Ten of Pentacles reverse. It's not coming together. But the feelings are still there. You're still deep in those feelings. You're not walking away from this person, even though it's not coming together the way you need it to come together at the speed you want it to come together. What is this justice card? What is this justice card for cancer? What is this? The energy coming in to influence this and the justice reverse. Isn't that something? It's balance. I mean, it's yin and yang right here. It's balancing itself. Justice is here to balance the wrong in the past. I feel, and because this is next to this King of Swords, I think they're going to speak up. I think they're going to finally claim you. They're going to finally say cancer. You know, I know I'm not the most emotional person. I know, I know I could be difficult to be with. I know Seven of Cups reversed the Ace of Swords. I know I need to be more clear and all I've been doing is confusing you. It's, you know, I just, yeah, I feel like there was a lot of guesswork in this relationship. What is the lovers in your emotions? What is the lovers in Cancer's emotions? What is that? What is the lovers here in Cancer's emotions? And the Three of Pentacles reverse. Give me another card on that. What is that? What is that? Three of Pentacles reversed. And the King of Pentacles. That, see, a Three of Pentacles reverses when something's not coming together. King of Pentacles is a lot of growth. Ten of Pentacles is a lot of growth. You see a lot of growth with this person. It's just not coming together the way you want it to come together or at the speed. I don't know if this is a new relationship or if this is an existing relationship and you're just trying to get them to define it better. And Eight of Cups reverse. Yeah, the energy is just not, it's not moving very quickly. In fact, it doesn't even feel like it's moving at all. And you're just like, what, what is this? What's going on? What is going on? What is this lover's card? What is that? And their emotions and death reverse. It's feeling stuck. Eight of wands reverse feels stuck. Death feel death reverse feels stuck. Three of pentacles reverse feels stuck. But in the center here, we have the king of pentacles and the lovers. You know, this person feels like a soulmate to you. You know that there's a lot of potential here. You just, I think there's confusion of why it's not coming together why we can't you know get on the same page here what is the ten of cups in the outcome what's the ten of cups in the outcome for cancer what is that and the ten of swords we got two tens pulled together the ten of cups and the ten of swords so what is this i'll tell you what this feels like it feels like like if this is let's just say this is you and the king of swords in the near future Maybe you kind of give them an ultimatum. Maybe you were like, okay, what is going on here? Are you, you're having me waiting. You're having me guessing. Are you dealing with somebody else? I feel like you take the control here that sets everything else in motion. I think this person ends up stepping up. Maybe they end up explaining why, it, why, you know, it's taken as long as it has. But the 10 of swords is, I feel like this is you. Should I stay or should I go? Because I'm really done with the guessing. I'm done with these games. I'm done with being hurt. And then, you know, it's just funny because it leads to the Ten of Cups. You taking control of this leads to the Ten of Cups. What is this? What is that? An Ace of Pentacles reverse. This is... the. When a pentacle like that comes reverse, it's just with the Ten of Pentacles, this is just a lot of potential. This is a new, I feel like, it does feel like this is a new relationship that you are passionate about, that you see the potential in. You want to get off the ground. I definitely, with that Page of Cups right here, reverse, they're not, it's like they're keeping their emotions to themselves. Page of Cups reverse, King of Swords, they're keeping their emotions to yourself. And they're like, you're waiting, you're waiting for them to show up. You're waiting for them to claim you and you're ready to turn your back on this, right? Three of, three of Wands reversed. Even though, yes, you care about them. Yes, you see the potential, but what, what is that going to do if this person isn't going to talk about it or, or, you know, take control here? What's this Ten of Cups in the outcome and the Queen of Pentacles? Yeah, this is, this is doing it all. Queen of Pentacles. This is a lot of balance. Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Okay. And we have the King of Pentacles. That's what's funny. Another true pair on the board. 
Wow. I just noticed that. In your emotions, it's the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Why is that? Why is that? And the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I, I just feel like you're waiting for them to give back what you, you, you know, what you have given in. But the thing is, is I feel like they're so heavily invested in work. I feel like they're heavily invested in that aspect of it. And maybe they don't understand. It's just not that they don't understand. You are tapped into your emotional side. You are really balanced. Queen of Cups is a super balanced um, character in the tarot deck. They're just really, really balanced, really intuitive. You're in your emotions. You can see things. You can feel things. Um, it's I think really I think the Queen of Cups is probably the most intuitive sign there is. The Cancer is the most intuitive sign there is. And with this is you do see it, you feel it, you know there's a connection there. But because this person and you know they have feelings, but they're just because they're so silent about it and they're not talking about it, and they have you guessing, they have you waiting, they have you wondering. You have they have you wondering are they dealing with other people with the Six of Pentacles? You know, and why isn't this coming together? This feels like a lot of frustration with the Ten of Swords and the, uh, I can't get it, with the Ten of Swords reversed or Ten of Swords upright and the Ace of Pentacles reversed. It's getting fed up on what's not coming together. It's, it's, that's where I feel like you're just like, okay, I, I'm going to have to get into my, take full power mode, getting enlightened about the situation. But I do feel like Cancer, when you take the power and you, you take control and you say something to this person, I think that kind of cracks their shell, their hard shell, because I feel like this person has a really hard shell, that they're not emotionally as, as like um, emotions are another language to a cancer. You know, this person doesn't know that language, but I feel like when, when at the brink of losing you is when they actually step up and, and invest and be who you know them to be. But this person feels very, very work oriented. Like they're just focused on their work. They're focused on their money. And I think for you, I don't, this person's never going to be the emotional. Like if, if you are hoping they're going to be a, like ooey gooey and maybe they're ooey gooey in the center and maybe with you, they will be a king of swords. It's very hard to change a king of swords is mine. They, like I said, they have the emotions. They just don't really express it. They have a hard time expressing it. And maybe that's the, why this relationship is so good because where you are really good in the emotions, you know, you can help them. You can balance them out, you know, like with the six of pentacles and maybe where they're really good in business that could help you out somehow, some way. But the, I mean, it doesn't feel, it just feels like kind of fear, waiting, wondering what is going on here. I'm on hold. This person isn't talking about it. And it, it all works out. It all works out. And you know, I'm telling you in tarot, it's rare for to pull these kind of cards. I mean, this is very soulmate. It's just, you're dealing with somebody who has a hard time express, expressing their emotions. All right, Cancers, that is what I have for you guys. I'm sorry, this was very confusing. This was very confusing for me. All right, guys, have a good week. Take care.